my name is Anthony Prince. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at Spearhead Machinery. We're out today with um, Kings Lynn Internal Drainage Board over in Norfolk in the UK. We're looking at the uh, Tweeger SPV2, which is uh, one of our flagship machines in our range. It's a self-propelled reach arm mower with a, a long reach of 9.7 metres on this particular model that we see here. Three-stage arm with a telescopic section. 9.7 metres? On a hedge cutter? One of the most uh, sort of long reach machines that you'll see working certainly here in the UK. Uh, so yeah, really high level professional unit that we're, we're offering and that these guys are running here. Uh, these guys are actually running three of these units so it's really important to their operation. There must be a lot of counterbalance goes on there. The, the machine is obviously designed specifically for the task. So it's not like a tractor where you're, you're hanging an arm on the tractor and obviously adding ballast in certain places if required or you, you risk stability issues. This machine is designed specifically for the task. So what you have is weight added in all the right places. It obviously passes all the tests for the, the likes yeah. of the, the drainage boards of these guys and environment agency, etc. But it's also a multi-purpose machine. It's not just for cutting. Yeah, as you can see, it's got the front linkage fitted to this this particular unit and they have the front flail so that makes it a lot more versatile there's high output but naturally you can then use that front linkage with other um, types of equipment for instance a wood chipper may be used in in the winter when these guys want to do a, a different task like chipping um, timbers or um, snow plow for instance we've seen that used on the front of the machine for clearing snow when the when obviously you can't go out and cut grass in the in the winter months, so it's very versatile. Utilisation for the likes of a drainage board is key, obviously, and uh, getting the most output from this type of machine is very important to them. And it can be used, I do recall, for dredging, so we can that machine can internally be turned around and, and, and used as a digger? Yeah, it's uh, not necessarily a digger, but yeah. uh, with a weed, weed, <laughs> in a weed cutting application, you can use it, so you'll tend to have a a two and a half to four meter weed cutting basket on the machine. Uh, just where the flail head's fitted, you, you exchange that. Very simple, quick operation with a quick attach bracket, quick couplers on the arm. You uh, then attach the cutting bucket and they clear out the, um, the lower areas that you see that are left in the bottom of the river. They yeah. go out in and they, they cut those but, out. But essentially, it's like a dagger. You can, your two, yeah, joystick, in the your cab. two joystick controls turn around, or are, 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 are almost like a rubber duck. <laughs> it, exactly. You you have the twin sticks in the cab, so effectively for an excavator operator moving into this machine, yeah, you use it just like an an excavator um, in terms of your twin sticks, and you use um, those to control uh, control the arm when you're using it in digger mode. So you effectively switch between flailing mode, a simple switch in the cab, switch from the flailing mode, which you'd, you'd normally use like a, a standard tractor mounted reach arm with a single stick. And then yeah. for the dredging work, you go to the twin sticks. Well, this machine behind is working. What constitutes this? What, what goes into this machine? What engines can you tell well, me? We, any? Just the rundown of the basics. We're using some fairly well-known and well-respected brands in the, bring those brands together to, to manufacture this machine. It's, um, running on um, Dana axles, for instance, mm -hmm. so a brand you recognise. Um, Sour Danfoss pumps, mm -hmm. hydraulic system. Oh, and they're, 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 <laughs> they're up there. That's it, and a, and a Deutz engine. Um, a Deutz engine, have you yeah. any idea what kind of horsepower that engine It's a 155 horsepower engine in the, it's a four cylinder in this model. And then in the, uh, the larger SPV3, we actually offer a six cylinder, 210 horsepower Deutz unit. Oh, she feels funny out there. <laughs> oh my word! Don't let yourself down, you big clown. Well, this is the spearhead 9.7, 9.7 meter reach. This is why this is the best job in the world. You get to come out and see machines like this. It's cutting grass. It's doing exactly everything that we love. Oh, there's a bit of getting used to here now, there's no question about that. But still, phenomenal machine. Spearhead, Doutz engine, 155 horsepower. I feel safe in here, but when you're extended out now, it's definitely a challenge, there's no question about that. 
I am concentrating. I am concentrating. I want to try and do this as, as good as I as good as I can. You've got to try and master the controls very smoothly. That's not that easy to do. Not that easy to do at all. Just button, spin her around, drop her down, change direction with a shuttle, and off we go again. I'm having, a, <laughs> I'm having as much fun here doing this as I think I've had doing anything. About the spearhead hedge cutters, what else do you offer out there? Anna? Yeah, um, obviously yourselves. The hedge cutter is probably the biggest thing, certainly in the Irish market. Um, but what we're probably most well known for Europe wide is our rotary mower range. So we've got the most extensive range of rotary mowers in the world, if you like, heavy duty machines that are um, they're offered into all sorts of applications, from farming right through to the military and in particular airports, so we're the and biggest what, producer of that type of machine in what, Europe. What what what's that type of machine? Is that is that like the bat? That starts thing? off at something like um, the destroyer that we're working with you on this year yes. with the Make a Wish Foundation. Um, so that's a two metre machine, and that's for sort of really heavy duty cutting. And you're going to have some fun with that, Gareth, I believe, a little yep. bit later in the year on the back yep. of the TW. Yeah, that's but, the plan. Um, from there, we go up to the 460 Multicut, which is our most popular selling machine. Uh, that's a 4.6 meter folding flex wing type mower. And we progress up through the range with that type of machine. We go from 4.6 right through to 12.1 meter cut and whip. So that's a large, uh, the largest machine in the world of its type. You told me that the destroyer, we couldn't destroy their destroyer. <laughs> Are you going to stand yeah, by that on we, camera? I think that's how we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How we come to this point, you, uh, as you do, we met in a bar one night after Lammer, I think it was, and we got talking about the Destroyer and showed you a few video clips and uh, you fancied having a bash at destroying yeah. it. So The words that your colleague said to me was, if you can get it into it, it will destroy it. That's it. If you can push it over, I think, uh, I think James said at the time, it will destroy it. So, yeah, we firmly believe that. I think we'll uh, let you see what you can destroy with it. <laughs> 